coming home The paths of Satan wrong I've trod Lord, I'm coming home Coming home, coming home Never more to of love Lord I'm coming home I've wasted many precious years now I'm coming home I now repent with bitter tears Lord I'm coming home Coming home, coming home, never more to roam. Open wide thine arms of love, Lord, I'm coming home, Lord, I'm coming home. Afternoon, dear brothers and sisters. Today, as we offer this Mass, we also remember the brothers and sisters, those who are making donation to this Divyavani TV channel. May God bless all their families and their heart intentions. Because of the Lord's covenant, and the and central laws, the saints of God preserved in loving brotherhood. For there was always one spirit in them and one faith. In the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, today our Mother Church is remembering and celebrating the feast of Saint Joseph. He was a good priest, a holy man, raised into the status of bishop. As a bishop, he kept his faith without failing until his death. He laid his life for the sake of crucified Lord, a Lord who called him. He offered his life as a holy sacrifice. Today, as we are offering this Mass, let us confess the times we failed to give witness to the cross and Jesus. I confess to Almighty God and to you, to my, my brothers and sisters, and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what, what I have done, done and, and in what, what I have, have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, my blessed above Virgin Mary, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Stir up in your church, we pray, O Lord, the spirit that filled Saint Joseph as he laid down his life for the sheep, so that through his intercession 
we too may be strengthened by the same spirit and not be afraid to lay down our life for others through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. We ought to support the brothers that we may be fellow workers for the truth. A reading from the third letter of St. John, chapter 3, verses 5 to 8. Beloved Caius, it is a faithful thing you do in all your efforts for these brothers, strangers as they are, who satisfy to your love before the church. You will do well to send them on their journey in a manner worthy of God. For they have gone out for the sake of the name, accepting nothing from the Gentiles. Therefore, we ought to support people like this, that we may be fellow workers for the truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response. Blessed the man. Blessed the man. Who fears the Lord. Who fears the Lord. Blessed the man who fears the Lord, who takes great delight in his commandments. His descendants shall be powerful on earth. The generations of the upright will be blessed. Your response. Blessed the man. Blessed the man. Who feared the Lord. Who fears the Lord. Riches and wealth are in his house. His justice stands firm forever. A delight rises in the darkness for the upright. He is generous, merciful, and just. Your response. Blessed the man, blessed the man, who fears the Lord, who fears the Lord. It goes well before the man, who deals generously and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice. He will never be moved, forever shall the just be remembered. Your response, blessed the man, blessed the man, who fears the Lord, who fears the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 18, verses 1 to 8. At that time, Jesus told his disciples a parable to the effect that they ought always to pray and not to lose heart. He said, in a certain city, there was a judge who neither feared God nor respected man. And there was a widow in that city who kept coming to him and saying, Give me justice against my adversary. For a while he refused, but afterwards he said to himself, Though I neither fear God nor respect man, yet... Because this widow keeps bothering me, I will give her justice so that he will not beat me down by her continual coming. And the Lord said, Hear what the unrighteous judge says. And will not God give justice to his elect who cry to him day and night, will he delay long over them? I tell you, 
he will give justice to them speedily nevertheless when the son of man comes will he find faith on earth gospel of the lord thanks be to god dear brothers and sisters in this afternoon we have a beautiful life cherishing parable jesus is giving us a parable of prayer prayer is the most important aspect for every human being in respect of the religion every religion advises to pray to the lord what kind of prayer we need to make a prayer which is regular unceasingly we need to pray that is what st paul tells letter to first thessalonians chapter 5 was 17 unceasingly without a break a continuous prayer day and night everywhere any time for everybody that is the intention of prayer the parable what today we have is given especially to the disciples so that they will not be lost in the world to strengthen their spiritual life not to lose heart jesus is giving an input to strengthen them to make them courageous to accept the trials and difficulties when the lord comes at the end jesus tells will i find anyone with this kind of faith jesus wants everybody to have a strong faith faith which is not shaken by any difficulties any temptation in order to make our spiritual life strong we need prayer prayer if we are not making this prayer we will become losers losers that's why in the first samuel chapter 12 verse 23 the word of god tells if i am ceasing to pray it will become a sin for me if i am stopping praying it will become a sin for me no we have two types of sins sins of omission sins of commission by committing something we end up in a sinful nature by omitting also the good virtues we will become sinful such among one is prayer if we omit if we stop praying if we are not aware of prayer we will become sinful that's why the word the bible always instructing our life to be in the prayer in the prayer we should never stop praying again st paul to ephesians chapter 6 was 18 he says be aware be careful you be alert in praying for everybody we need to be alert otherwise the evil the devil will be coming like a roaring lion 
to swallow up. If we are not praying, we will become a prey to the evil thoughts. If we are not praying, we will become a prey to the Satan. Whether my prayer is heard or not, whether my prayer is answered or not, what may be my situation, whether I am tempted, whether I am sinful, whether I am committing anything that is not will of God, I must pray for the conversion. Prayer, prayer, prayer. The most essential for Christian life. Prayer must be our breath, our breathing. Every child of God must inhale and exhale the prayer. Always pray. Then what happens? The hardest heart, the unjust judge also will be converted, also will be melted by continuous appeal in your prayer. That's what we see the result of this widow. A widow who has nobody. By the word widow, we understand she is not having husband. Most probably, she is also not having any children. Barren, maybe. She became an orphan without any brother or sister. Why? Because, according to the Jewish custom, female is not allowed to approach the court for justice. No female is allowed to apply for justice in the court. In spite of that Jewish regularity or the custom, this woman went and asked for justice. Not only one day, two days, until she received the answer, until she got her justice, she kept on asking. That unjust judge who was not minding any human being, who was not having fear of God, thought, I must do something to this woman. Otherwise, she has been bothering me bothering me. She will become a nonsense for me. She is disturbing me. This unjust judge decided to give justice to her. Dear brothers and sisters, what we understand by this act of this unjust judge he was not willing to change. He is very much interested to be unjust, taking bribe, manipulating justice. He want to live as a worldly man, being the judge for the people. To him, the way this woman was going, with the sincerity of heart, with the Humility of heart. The man got converted. Sometimes we are also getting tired of praying for the people, for the justice. But we should never stop. We need to continuously ask the Lord to change the people. That's what our beloved mother Monica has done. Saint Monica, so many years, a couple of years, prayed for her son Augustine, who was a wretched, sinful, not having fear of God, not minding the family, living as he wanted. But prayer brought him back to Christ, who died for him. And we have a great theologian and philosopher, 
St. Augustine. There are so many people prayed for the needs of the church, needs of the society, needs of the family. Hardcore people also will change in prayer. Whatever you ask in my name will be done for you. When Peter was arrested and put in the jail, and they are planning to kill Peter the next day, but the church came together and started praying. The way they prayed, the angel of the Lord came down from heaven and released Peter. And Peter came to them that midnight. Dear brothers and sisters, any chains will be broken in prayer. Any difficulty can be overcome by prayer. Any temptation can become a victory for you in prayer. Don't stop praying. Pray for all your problems. Prayer is the key and solution for human life to have peace and tranquility and even to enter the heaven and to perceive the problems until Christ comes to this world, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. On the pattern with the horse, I offer up my lowly heart. All my life, my deeds, my thoughts, then shall be as mine thou art. In the chalice, let me be a drop of water mingled there. Lost to Jesus in the love that I sacrifice I share. All to me and every day, oh Jesus, let me live in thee, so that I no longer live, but that thou mayst live through me on the pattern with the host. For up my lowly heart, all my life, my days, my thoughts, thine shall be as mine thou art. Pray, brethren, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Most merciful God, pour out your blessing upon these offerings and confirm us in the faith that Saint Josephat professed by the shedding of his blood through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands and he endured his passion so as to break the bounds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Paul Anthony, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, Saint Josephat, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us say the prayer taught by Christ, our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven. heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come. Thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread. bread. And forgive, and forgive us our, our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, to set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not Lord, worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. Prayer of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come into my heart spiritually. I embrace you if you were already there and unite myself to you wholly. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Whoever loses his life for my sake will find it in eternity, says the Lord. Let us pray. May this heavenly table, O Lord, bestow on us a spirit of fortitude and peace, so that following St. Josephus' example, we may willingly spend our lives working for the honor and unity of the church through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with your Christ. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Let us go and love the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus is calling, calling for you and for me. See all the pastors is waiting and watching, watching for you and for me. Come home, come home. Honestly, tenderly, Jesus is calling, calling a sinner, come home. Calling a sinner, come home.